Now let's know about the workflow in Power BI. The very first step is preparation of data. First step is we connect with a data source and then what is the data source? That source which has data. So we connect with any data, we load data in Power BI and before visualization there are various steps involved. The very first step is preparation of data. We clean and transform the data and once we have cleaned and transformed the data, we model the data. Data modeling means building relationship between different tables. Those tables may be available in one data source or these different tables can come from different data sources. We can connect with different data sources in Power BI. What is a data source? For example, Excel file. Some data is available in Excel file. We will connect with Excel. We will get that data in Power BI. Some data is available in SQL. So SQL database is providing some tables. So we will connect even with those tables also. If there are any common entries given in these different tables, we can connect those tables or we can build relationship. Mapping is possible if there are some common keys or some kind of uh, IDs available, then we can build a relationship. Then comes visualization. Once we are, we have prepared the data, we have modeled the data, then we visualize the data. So what is visualizing? Visualizing is presenting the data visually, creating charts and graphs. Once we have created charts and graphs, we spend time in analyzing the data to see trends and patterns in the data. And then finally, we manage the assets we will use in Power BI, data sets, refresh and all. So we will manage those assets which we will be using in Power BI. That's the final step. Now let's proceed and let's talk about the key features of Power BI workflow. We will start with importing the data. We will connect with a data source. And once we connect with that data source, we will transform the data. Now, transformation may include cleaning the data, filtering the data, structuring the data, or giving shape so that data is prepared for visualization. And we are going to do this in Power Query Editor. Very soon, we are going to see what is Power Query Editor and how exactly we will do all these transformations. We are going to learn this very soon. Next step involved data modeling. So as I just mentioned few minutes back, creating relationship is called data modeling. This also has another aspect. One is building relationship between multiple tables and calculations. Measures and calculated columns are part of calculations. We can add insights by adding calculation in case some data is missing, some information is missing. And we want to use that insight in the visualization of our data. Then we can create those kind of calculations. We can create those kind of calculated column, calculated tables or measures. And then finally, report building. Report building includes creating visuals, creating report using different visuals and dashboards. So this is the workflow in Power BI. Now, let me introduce user interface of Power BI when you will open Power BI for the first time. So let's open Power BI and let's see what kind of interface we are going to see. So for the first time, when we will open Power BI, if you are using latest version, then you will see user interface something like this. If you are using older version of Power BI, if you have downloaded Power BI many years back and you downloaded it from Microsoft website, then you might see older version. You might see a different interface. But if you have downloaded Power BI from Microsoft Store, then you will see latest version of Power BI. How you will see? which version you're using because some of you might see different user interface. In that case, we can say in about, we can click on about and this will tell us version. So this is the version right now. I'm using August 2024. So you can check your version by clicking on about option. We need to click on blank report to open Power BI. Let's click on blank report. We have learned how to check 
Power BI version. Now we are going to learn user interface of Power BI. So if you work on Excel, then remember that Power BI is a baby of Excel only. So like Excel has ribbon. Let me open Excel also. So like Excel has this ribbon, even PPT also has a ribbon. Similarly, even Power BI also has a ribbon. So let's compare Excel and Power BI. Why even we want to compare Excel and Power BI? It is because Power BI is a baby of Excel only. So like Excel has this ribbon and Excel has these different tabs, home, insert, and then formulas, data, view. These are different tabs under this ribbon and then we can add multiple pages this is excel somewhat similar user interface is given to even power bi as well this is called as ribbon and these are different tabs under these tabs there are multiple features given let's make the session interactive tell me in comments what's your purpose of learning power bi if we see this white space here, this white space is called as canvas. This is canvas where we are going to create a report. Like in Excel, we can add multiple worksheets. In Power BI also, we can add multiple pages. This is called as filter pane. These are the buttons. This kind of button is given to expand or to collapse these panes. We can expand data pane. Right now, we have not loaded any data. We can see. Here, you have not loaded any data yet. There is no data as of now in Power BI. Before we get data in Power BI, let's quickly understand. This is called as data pane. This is called as visualization pane. This is called as filter pane. And this is called as canvas where we are going to create our support. And this is called as ribbon. And using this ribbon, we can use these multiple tabs given. So user interface is somewhat similar. We are already familiar. We have seen such interface before. So to connect with any data source, we need to click on get data. Get data is given at multiple places. We can see get data is given here. Get data is also given here. Get data is also given here. Now, how we can connect with a data source and what are the different data source we can connect with in Power BI? Let's click here. And these are the most commonly used data sources. What is a data source? Data source is that source which has data. And these are the, for example, Excel is a file type. We can connect with Excel file type. We can connect with SQL Server. We can connect with even text file. We can connect with web directly data is available on internet. For example, Wikipedia. We want to get some tables from Wikipedia. We can connect with those web browser links and then we can get that data. Similarly, we can click on more to see this entire list of data sources we can connect with in Power BI. So do you want to see different file types? So these are the file types, Excel text or CSV comma separated and then we have XML, JSON file. Even we can also connect with a folder. Suppose we have more than hundreds of Excel files and we want to combine those files. We need to connect with that folder and we can easily combine those hundreds of Excel files if data structure is same in all the Excel files. We want to see even this list of databases, we can see that as well. These are the different databases we can connect with. SQL, Excel, uh, Access Database, Oracle Database, IBM, SAP, HANA. We can scroll down and we can see this entire list of databases. We can also go to Microsoft Fabric, Power Platform, Azure, Online Services, others, etc. So these are the different data sources we can connect with. Now, how to connect with a data source? To connect with a data source, we need to choose Get Data. And once we click on Get Data, we will be able to connect with that data source. If suppose we want to connect with Excel file directly, we can click here or we can click here. So now, next step, let's learn how to connect with a data source and how to get data in Power BI to get started. 
like this is a blank excel file there is nothing here this is a blank excel file similarly this is also a blank power bi file we will get started once we connect with a data source once we get data in power bi then only we can create visuals we can create report